हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज क्रिमिनोलॉजी बींग प्रजेंटेड बाई सी एस एस वर्ल्ड इन दिस लेक्चर अर टॉपिक इज बायोलॉजिकल थेरीज ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी लेट स्टार्ट दिस लेक्चर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्रिमिनोलॉजी एंड बायोलॉजी बिफोर स्टडिंग द बायोलॉजिकल थेरीज ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट दैट वट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्रिमिनोलॉजी एंड बायोलॉजी Keep in mind that whenever we talk about crimes or criminology then a number of questions come in our minds these questions include why people become criminal mind why a crime takes place in a particular society why people get themselves in criminal activities and so on so the biological theories of criminology basically address all these questions just remember that the social scientists observe societies through various lenses when they try to understand the criminals they observe social psychological and even biological character of people when it comes to biological perspective the social scientists biologically examine the criminals they discuss biological character of criminals like how a criminal minded man is looking how is his face eyes nose lips etc so in short uh, we can say that the scientists do a complete biological examination of a criminal in this way the criminology and biology are interlinked after understanding the linkage between biology and criminology now we will study biological theories of criminology first one is caesar lombroso theory caesar lombroso is known as the father of criminology his theory says that criminals are inherited which means that the criminals get their criminalities from their ancestors he maintained that the physical shape of head and face describe the born criminal before presenting this theory he did field work by visiting various jails he met with various prisoners and then he found that all of the prisoners have some same biological features so he said that physical characteristics describe born criminals their nose eyes face length etc are usually same so in one line we can say that through his work he found that all the criminals have specific biological characteristics second theory is y chromosomes theory or x y y male theory in our biology subject we have studied that in a male there are x y chromosomes whereas in a female there are x x chromosomes but in some cases males get one extra y chromosome and they become x y y chromosomes and these males are known as super males as they have one extra y chromosome this is basically a syndrome which is known as jacobs syndrome due to which it happens that some males get an extra y this extra y develops during the teenage period of a male's life this extra chromosome develops in extra aggression it changes behavior of the males this aggression takes these people towards crimes so this theory basically says that the criminals usually have an extra chromosome due to which they become aggressive and hence they do crimes third theory is william sheldon theory william sheldon is a psychologist he presented three somatotypes of human body on the basis that how they are looking physically according to him all the people having thin fragile and introverted body structure are ectomorphs people having body characteristics including fat soft and relaxed are endomorphs and people having body characteristics including hard muscles and are having aggressive and adventurous nature are mesomorphs so william sheldon said that these mesomorphs are convicted and criminals 
सो इन दिस वे ही कैटेगराइज द क्रिमिनल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर बॉडी शेप एंड सेट दैट द मैसेज हैविंग स्पेसिफिक बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर आर यूजली क्रिमिनल्स सो दीज आर थ्री बायोलॉजिकल थेरीज ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी विच कम अंडर द सब्जेक्ट क्रिमिनोलॉजी ऑफ सी एस एस दिस वॉज ऑल फ्राम टू डेज लेक्चर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोज़ गुड बाय